Now for the top story tonight, talk about fighting in a troubling display of incivility. Media stars Rosie O'Donnell and Donald Trump are insulting each other in a way that perhaps is unprecedented. All began when Mr. Trump, as boss of the Miss USA pageant, decided to discipline Miss USA for conduct unbecoming. And there he is, hair looping doing everyone, everyone deserves a second chance. And I'm going to give him a second chance. He's the moral authority. Left the first wife, had an affair. Left the second wife, had an affair. Had kids both time. But he's the moral compass for 20-year-olds in America. Donald, sit and spin, my friend. Well, Rosie think? talks about moral compass. What moral compass does she have? I mean, just take a look at her. Take a look at that face. I mean, can you imagine her poor girlfriend having, having to kiss that every night? You can have her. I did something very nice for a very fine young lady. I gave her a second chance. Rosie O'Donnell didn't want me to give her a second chance. Of course, Rosie would like to spend a little time with her. That I can guarantee you. Yeah. He's going to sue me, but he'll be bankrupt by that time, so I won't have to worry. I look forward to suing Rosie. I'm going to sue her, and I look forward to it. I, I just think he's a hot bag of wind. I guarantee I'll have a lot of Rosie's money, you know, right out of her big fat pocket. You know, it's a slow news week, I think, because Fox News is all over my oh, Now, I consider that a compliment. That's like being on Nixon's enemies list. She's both unattractive inside and out. Frankly, here's my comment to him. <laughs> All right, Rosie O'Donnell declined our invitation to appear this evening, but joining us now on the phone is Donald Trump. And, you know, I, why not shred her argument intellectually? You're smart enough to do that, Donald. Come on. Well, I hope I'm much smarter than well, that. Why, but the why fact use is... The, why use the personal hey, Bill, attacks? Bill, why don't why? go after because her on the issue? you've made a living issue. using personal attacks. The, you have. No, the I haven't. Is, I don't attack hey, Bill, anybody Of course personally. you do. No, I don't. I don't, and that's, that's, that's erroneous. Hey, we Bill, let, stay let on the issue. Something. When somebody gets on the air, and if they got on the air and said about you, as an example, they attacked the pageant, which is a great success. She attacks, she said, I'm on the cover of Forbes magazine on the Forbes, the Forbes 400 uh, last month, the cover, which is, I guess they have it at down, at, and, and it doesn't make any difference what the real number is, but it's many billions of dollars, okay? So I'm on the cover. She said I went bankrupt. I never went bankrupt. That's true. I never... That's true, but listen to me for a minute. I'm here. Listen to this. Wait, 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 wait. Listen to me for a minute. Bankrupt four times. Listen to me for a minute. You are successful. You are smart. The Trump brand is the premier brand in America. There's no question about it. She goes on her program and she smears and slimes you. She started it, not you. This is all fact. She started it. She and started. I finished it. Well, you didn't finish it because well, it's going to go I've, on and I've on come and on. Pretty close. But if why you don't you just perform? Hey, Bill, let me talk. Beat her intellectually. Why look, the I'm personal stuff? I'm beating her stuff. intellectually, Bill. She's easy to beat intellectually. If you looked at her performance on The View today, it was a disaster. The View is not a great show to start off with, and hasn't been doing very well, and had the worst year they've ever had last year. But if you look at her performance on The View today, she was a mess. She was nervous. She was fumbling. She was stumbling. She brought her nice girlfriend in to keep her company. Mer Rosie was an absolute mess today. And you know why? Because she's concerned that I'm going to sue her and take a lot of money away from her, and she probably can't afford to do that. Right, After the failure of the magazine and the failure of her show, and by well, the she's way... Got, she's she's got money. I mean, she just gave a large donation to a George Ed Mossbacher's uh, charity. But look... What I'm trying to get at here is this. You, you and I have talked many times. We know each other, so everybody should know that. And I've talked to Rosie O'Donnell. She's been on the program. But I'm saying to you, calling her pig face, getting into her sex life, oh, all allowed, these things, they don't make, me, it doesn't make, excuse me. it doesn't she's make you look good. She's allowed to make fun by the hair. I don't care about the hair. You know, I'm totally immune but to But that the makes hair her look bad. But don't you understand do that? that? Excuse me, Bill. She's allowed to do that, but I shouldn't be doing it. No, because it makes her look bad to do that. Oh, I don't think so. No, I don't think so. It she's makes her look terrible to do that. Hey, Bill. There are two types of people in this world, people that take it and people that don't take it. Rosie is a bully. Rosie was hit between the eyes. Rosie is very concerned because what she said was a lie. In certain, I mean, there are numerous things, but one of the things, Trump went bankrupt. I didn't go bankrupt. So Rosie now all of a sudden is being advised by lots of lawyers, please shut up, you have a big problem here. Rosie is concerned. And if you saw her performance today, she was a disaster. Right. So I'm not no going to be able to convince you to beat her intellectually and to stay out of the personal. I'm well, not going to be able to convince you. Ultimately, intellectually, you know, I went to the best school. I went to the Wharton School. That's what finance. I'm telling you. Why do you, think... and why do you have to talk about her girlfriend then? Just talk about how erroneous.
genius. I feel what sorry she says. for her. I'm not talking about her girlfriend. I feel you sorry did. for sorry her you girlfriend. Are. How would you like to have to kiss Rosie? That's what I'm talking about. You don't need to do I feel that. I'm sorry for his guy. I just found out her name is Kelly. She looks like a lovely young woman. It's too bad she got stuck with Rosie. All right. Okay. Now on a lawsuit, you can't win it, and I'll tell you why. Because you got to prove damages, and you're not going to be able to prove well, damages. You know what, Bill? Do me a favor. Don't be my lawyer. You speak for yourself. Okay. All right. I'm Don't just be telling my lawyer, you, Bill. I would have liked to I'm sue sure a lot a very of people. Good lawyer, but you know what? Don't be my lawyer. But you're going to have to prove damages to win. Do me a favor, win. Bill. Don't be my lawyer. All right. Have you, have you thought about that? I think about everything. All right. You're going to have to show damage. Malice, you can show. Bill. Malice, Bill, you can show. Don't tell me damages, about libel I don't law. So. I know a lot about libel law. Just don't be my lawyer. All I right. like you. You're my friend. Don't be my lawyer. Can I be your advisor? Yes. Don't do any more personal attacks. <laughs> Are you still there or you hang up on me? No, I didn't hang up on right. I, I will take that very seriously. You should. Time. You should. Because okay. it just, it, look, you, Rosie O'Donnell started it. She looked foolish by attacking you personally. And if you had just gone after her on the basis of what she said and just say, look, I'm not going to get in a gutter with Rosie O'Donnell. I think you would have won big. Here, except it's a dog and pony show. Bill, it's a dog and pony. nobody would listen to that. Oh, yeah, you I have would. to go, excuse me, Bill, nobody would listen to that. I would. If I attack it on a purely intellectual level, which is essentially what I've done, but using a little bit more venom, if I attacked it on a purely intellectual level, Basis, nobody would listen, and the response would not have been nearly as effective. There's I don't think so. You You're Donald about. Trump. You could have been on this program and any other program and gone in and say, look, this woman is totally out of control. She misstated the facts. I'm going to have my lawyers go in and take a look at it, and ABC's got a big problem over there. Hey, Bill, I'm telling you, you really got a lot of ink with that. Rosie is a woman that didn't want to give a very nice girl and she's a girl, a very nice girl who has a problem, didn't want to give her a second chance. That's how this all started. She no, didn't she want to give started it. And I guarantee you she's given plenty of women second chances. Yes, but there you go. You're not taking my advice. You, you just no, said no, I could be no, your advisor. I don't advisor want to take your advice on this, Bill. Excuse me. I don't have to take your advice. <laughs> I'm not you taking don't. your advice. I respect you very much. But okay. on this issue, I won't take your But you advice. don't have to make the sexual in you, you, innuendo. It doesn't make you look good. All right, let's get on one more thing I've got to ask you about. Yes. This Miss USA contest looks like it's out of control. you got Miss Nevada now. And what is she doing? Well, I don't think it's out of control. I think it's very successful. Did you and fire Miss Miss Nevada. Miss Nevada. Does Ms. She... Nevada did some very bad things. Is she fired? Her, she was terminated today. So you fired her, but you didn't give her a second chance. How come? Well, because if you looked at the pictures that I looked at, you wouldn't be giving her a second chance either. Yeah, all right. She really had some terrible, terrible displays. You know, Christmas is coming here, Donald. Do you feel bad about all this controversy? I feel good. <laughs> I feel very good. You, feel, you, you like this, don't you? Be honest. I don't like it, come Bill. Come on. Be but honest. You know you what? Like when this. somebody gets on a show and lies... I don't have to take it, or I can take it. I choose not to take it. And if you look at Rosie, she got hit between the eyes, and now she doesn't want to talk about it. She wants to crawl into a corner because she's gutless. That's the way it is. I choose not to take it. And you know what? I know you very well. You generally choose not to take yeah, it. Yeah, but I do it on a different level. Well, I hope it's a lower level than I do it on. No, it isn't. Merry Christmas, Donald. Have a good time, Bill. All right, thanks so for long. coming on the program. Rosie O'Donnell is welcome anytime. Come on here and talk about it. All right. Now, this is dopey, right? Is it dopey? You're watching me right now all over the world. It's dopey. Why do we care? Here's why we care. This is our culture. This is it. This is like ancient Rome. Okay. These are the gladiators in the arena and we sit there and we watch personal attacks by the media over and over and over and over. You know what's going to happen in a 2008 presidential